Hi guys and welcome back. So we're going to be starting a new series and this is going to be uh, the, the basically the main uh, transmitters latency and receivers latency. Uh, we're going to be comparing the Turnigy Evolution and the FR Sky as well as the normal Fly Sky receivers because I have some of those. Uh, but the first thing we're going to test some of the myths out there such as um, today, well today's episode is going to be based on the myth which is if you have your FR Sky set to D16 which is 16 channels. And if you drop it to 8 channel, will it make a difference? So that's one thing we're going to be testing today. <clears throat> we're also going to be testing D8 and D16, see if there's any difference as well. So that, that's for today's episode. And um, we're also going to be, uh, the next episodes we're going to be actually testing the latency between these guys. And then also the latency from, all the, from your throttle input all the way down to your motor. So we're going to be testing that as well uh, in this series. And this series should be out throughout this week, so you shouldn't have to wait long. So today's episode really we're just going to test D16 on 16 channel and then on 8 channel and D8. So let me prepare everything and let's get started. Alright guys, so first thing we're going to test is actually we're going to test D16 on 16 channel. So let's just double check that we are on D16 and there we go on D8 right now. So let's just change it. So here's D16 and we're on 16 channel. So that's perfect. Alright, now we're going to take a look at the oscilloscope here. I'm going to prepare a quad right now. Alright guys, so the quad is prepared. So let me just um, prove it to you. So I'm going to touch the S bus signal here. Just give me a moment because it's going to be very difficult to do it like this unless I solder a wire. Alright. So as we can see here, and just to prove it to you, I'm going to do a little zooming in. And I'm going to... It's, it's difficult to show you, but you can see it kind of moving. Hold on. So, do you see that? Right there. That's our throttle. So, for example, right here, this would be our roll. And so, that shows you that this is this is the one that's connected. If anyone doesn't believe me, so let's go back here now. And I should possibly solder a wire. So let's just stop it right there. All right. Now we're going to take its measurement. So this is the full frame of data. That is um, for SBUS D16 here. So let's actually zoom in here a little bit. Make our life a little bit easier. Right, so let's get the cursor. And we're gonna measure here. I've already been measuring this just to double check everything. And as we can see here, this is where all the data is right now. So, okay. So, okay, so there we go, it's perfect. All right, so it's about three milliseconds, as you can see here, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, right there, it's three milliseconds, so the data of the S-Bus signal with the 16 channels is takes three milliseconds to get there. Now, as you can see here, there's dead time, so this is, you consider these as frames of data. So now we're gonna have to check the end, the dead time here, and then uh, we can figure out exactly how long does a signal um, actually uh, take how many how much time so let's just get our cursor here. Let's prepare it We're gonna keep that there then and That's six milliseconds right there so a full frame for s bus signal on d16 is nine milliseconds All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it to eight channels. Let's see if it'll make a difference So as you can see, D16 on 16 channels, we're going to drop it down to 8 channels, and we should be good to go. So that's dropped now, so we're going to go back to the oscilloscope here, I should just fix that a little bit, alright, and now we're going to have it run, and let's grab our signal here, oh shit, hold on, the wire got caught. right centered okay so you can see that here so I'm just gonna double check just to show you that this is the receiver just to prove it see you can see the changes watch see how they increase there and we could zoom out a little bit more and I can show you for example roll roll is not on this frame yaws right here it's 
bit difficult to kind of tell because this, the signal is just jumping all over the place. It's not super stable here. All right. So anyways, let's actually measure this now because I think that's what's important here. So we're going to stop it. Now we're going to have it run. Get it centered. Okay, perfect. So we just captured on D16 eight channels. Now we're going to measure its um its latency or how long it takes to actually start here. So we're going to go right here. So we're going to check the dead time first since it's it's a little bit closer for us right now. Okay. So it's also 6 milliseconds, 5.98, but I'm sure it's 6 milliseconds. That's basically 6 milliseconds is the dead time here for one frame. And I'll just check its data. Okay, so let's check its data here. So now we're on D16, 8 channels. It's basically the same thing, 3 milliseconds. Alright guys, so a full frame actually takes 9 milliseconds, so we have 6 milliseconds of dead time and we have 3 milliseconds of active time. So we've tested D16 on 16 channels and D16 on 8 channels. It's the same exact thing from the perspective of the receiver that's on the quadcopter. Um, I see no difference. However, I don't know if something gets passed through the... It's still going to take the exact same time. I mean, I, I don't understand what, what will make it faster here. Because you, you will always have 9 milliseconds for a full frame no matter what. So that's the speed of the FR Sky uh, D16 protocol. So right now we can consider this myth busted. Um, and um, yeah, I don't see any difference here. Uh, so soon we're going to be taking it to the next step, which is actually testing from the point of throttle input all the way down to the motor, see how long it takes. And this way we can get some very accurate measurements. Um, that'll be on the next episode. And well, that's all is going to basically include it for this video. Guys. So I'm going to leave you guys with the reaction of the FPV community here. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care. Let it go, dogs. Let's go. Yeah,